What, Kinder Kuka Kerche over here? There are many intriguing pieces of dialogue in succession, but Kender, Kutch Kerch from Season 4, Episode 9 is particularly problematic for Shiv Roy. The struggle for control has intensified since Logan's passing, particularly in light of Lucas Matson and Gojo's impending purchase of Waystar Royco. Shiv has been working to manipulate events and play both sides, in order to maintain her position as the boss at Gojo. But one moment in the succession episode, Church and State, raises the possibility that she may not succeed in her goals. Succession Season 4, Episode 9 features Logan's funeral, where a collection of business colleagues, former wives, and politicians have joined the Roy family in paying their last respects to the Waystar magnate, including Succession's new president, Jared Menken. While Shiv dislikes Menken because of his fascist politics, and was distraught when ATN prematurely called the election for him. In this episode, she decides to broker a deal with him, to let the Gojo sale pass, in exchange for putting an American CEO specifically, her in charge of the company. During the discussion, Menken calls Shiv kinder, Kutch Kirch, and the translation of that phrase reveals what he truly thinks of her. Kender, Kutch Kirch hints that Shiv won't be Go, Joe's CEO in succession. The German phrase Kender, Kutch Kirch, means children, kitchen, church. It first appeared during the German Empire to describe the role of women in society, stating that they should be primarily focused on taking care of their families and homes. It was also employed during the Third Reich to encourage women to stay at home, take care of the family, and have children. It's hardly surprising that Mencken would employ a word from the Third Reich in conversation given his neo-fascist tendencies. Mencken's usage of the word also exposes his sexism, because he doesn't seem to regard Shiv as a genuine candidate for the position of CEO, especially given that she is clearly pregnant. Shiv thinks she has a real shot at becoming Gojo's American CEO, but Mencken's German line in Succession Season 4, Episode 9, hints that he does not intend to support Shiv as CEO to Matson. Mencken has been evasive about blocking the Gojo deal, so it's highly likely that he won't keep his word and tap Shiv as CEO. Matson has already been evasive about naming Shiv to the position, even plainly telling her that she has no experience, and Mencken just made Shiv's probability of securing the job even more dubious. Shiv's lack of business experience is undoubtedly hurting her chances, but Mencken's sexism doesn't help her situation either. Who will win in the end of succession? There's a high likelihood that Mencken will choose an American CEO, even though Shiv is unlikely to be chosen. Kendall has demonstrated that he will go to any lengths to succeed, even if it means supporting a candidate like Mencken. Even Mencken is impressed by the eulogy he delivers at Logan's funeral. Tom, though, has a chance of becoming the CEO as well. He's highly ambitious and may be the best candidate, because he chose to continue working at ATN. Despite missing Logan's funeral, Mencken may endorse Tom for the position over Matson, because Tom was crucial in Mencken's election call. Even if Shiv is unlikely to be selected, Mencken is very likely to select an American CEO. Kendall has shown that he will do whatever it takes to win, even if it means endorsing a contender like Mencken. At Logan's funeral, the eulogy he gives is well received even by Mencken. However, Tom also has a chance to succeed as CEO. Because of his high level of ambition and decision to stay on at ATN despite missing Logan's burial, he might be the greatest contender. Given that Tom was essential in Mencken's decision to choose Tom over Matson, he may support Tom over Matson for the job.